Okay, you guys, it got a little stressful in the dollar store. Um, it was not fun, but I did get a rainbow bagel at the bagel next door, next to me. And bagels and brew hit me up, and they were so nice in bagels and brew. Oh my god! So wait, let me just—I need a piece of my bagel before I tell you this story, because y'all, I'm I'm so stressed. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is, that is so good. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. That spoke to me. Mm. That's so good. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the first thing that happened. I got some of it on video, as you guys saw. And there's this little girl, and she just kept she was staring at me for a full 30 seconds before I noticed. Because of the camera in my hand. And um, I guess people at the dollar store have never seen a camera before in their life. Sorry about it. What? And she was staring at me. And so I just like looked at her and I was like, smiled at her. And then she smiled back. She was okay. And then her mom like freaked out. And her mom was like, I don't know what her name was, but she's like, Come on, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Come on, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Come on, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. She saw my camera and like, I don't know, she like, acted like I was like some chainsaw murderer or something. And it was kind of rude. And she was like looking at me and I was like, and she's like, and I was like, oh my God. And then she was like dragging her kid out. Who, the kid wanted freaking fake nails and nail polish, which like, yeah, that's good taste. But the mom was like, nope, we need to go. And she's like, why? And she's like, I'll show you the fake nails in another aisle. And she goes, but the fake nails, are, like any kid, you know, doesn't get the hint. But like, she's like, the fake nails are in this aisle. And she goes, no, they're not in this aisle. They're in another aisle. And I'm like, bitch, I see what you're trying to do. Um, I don't know what her deal was. Every time she saw the camera out, she like flipped out. I don't know. Maybe she kidnapped those kids or something. No, I'm kidding. She didn't. But every time I had the camera out, she'd be like, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. I'm like, whoa, girl, are you on like some kind of like FBI hunt or something? What is going on? Relax. It's just a freaking camera. Okay. And then when I was in, so that was one person that was rude. And I was like, why? And then it would have been okay if the rest of the time who was like gone great. But every time I'm trying to shoot a video, these people are coming up and they're just staring at me. And I'm like, my mom's calling. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. So as I was saying, these people are just staring at me. And I don't know about you, but I as a nice person don't want to make people uncomfortable. So I try, like I'll like accidentally make eye contact with somebody or I'll look at something. And it'll just be a natural human thing. I just look. But I'm not like... Huh? 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 But they were like bitchy faces. Sorry. <gasps> stop swearing. My grandpa said to stop swearing. I will respect you, grandpa. You the best. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, my God. So. They were just staring at me. And I was like... <gasps> and I don't like... Like when I'm recording, it's really hard for me to continuously be talking to the camera and trying to be all upbeat when I got these freaking dagger eyes staring at me like, oh my God, how dare she walk into this dollar store with a camera? Like they were like mad about it. It was weird. They were like mad about it. And then when I was choosing out makeup for you guys, I turned off the camera really fast because this old couple looked like they were trying to come in. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera and move out of their way so that they can get past. And then this guy, like, he's like, do you know where the something is? And I didn't know what he said because I couldn't really quite understand him. And he's like this older man. And he's like, do you know where this is? And I'm like, uh, what? And he was like, and then they were just like stared at me for a sec. And then the, the wife was like, oh, she doesn't know where it is. And he's like, oh. And then he looked at me and he's like, oh, I thought you worked here. <laughs> Does this look like a dollar store shirt? 
me. He's like, I thought you worked here. At a dollar store. At a dollar store. Oh my god. I did not know wearing a camouflage shirt. Like a green shirt. Whatever. And some jean shorts was so bad. That like people were like actually staring at my outfit. Like they were like looking me down and up. Like, I'm sorry, um, I like this shirt. It makes me, you know, support the army. We love veterans. Um, also the bright the dollar store people there are wearing bright green, like dollar store. They're very obvious. It says dollar store right there. Like a freaking target on the chest, okay? Does this look like oh nice blood cream cheese on my leg? Mm. Does this look like dollar store? Do you see the word? No. Oh, girl. I wasn't mad about it. I was like, <laughs> no. The wife, she was like looking a little hella embarrassed there. And I don't blame her because this is rude, you know? Like, do you ever tell people like, oh, I thought you worked here. Not that I have anything against dollar store workers. Y'all gotta make your bank, yo. But like, I don't know. I just got offended. I don't know. I was just frazzled because of that mom that like was totally avoiding me like the plague and then people staring at me and then this guy saying I looked like I worked here and then another thing fourth last scenario is every time I walked down the aisle this like people with their mothers would like grab their kids and like pull them away like do I look like I'm gonna murder your kid? Yeah! I'm so confused I'm just I'm just stressed. I'm feeling very beaten down. Let's come to the next story. So, I'm checking out at the dollar store, <laughs> Obvi, and the lady at the, and like, like I'm in line, and there's like, the lines were really confusing. Like, one of the aisles was lit and up, and when the, when there's a lit up number, that means that aisle's open. And the aisle next to it was not lit up, but somebody was there, and so I got confused, and so I went to the lit and up aisle. And then this one guy was like, I'm taking people in my line, so come on over, and this one guy was in front of me and i wasn't sure if he was going over there or i wasn't going over there so i was like well what and so i was just kind of stare at, standing staring and they're like are you gonna and they're like looking at me and i'm like what and i'm like oh okay i'll go over there and then this other guy's like no i'll go over there so i'm like okay you go over there and so then he goes over there and then i'm like waiting like this one person is just one person ahead of me she's bagging up she's ready to go why would the heck would i move to the other line where there's like two people now there and this lady behind me goes well if you're not gonna go over there i'll go over there and i'm like okay go ahead b word what a b word oh she was so rude about it she gave me this look and i'm like excuse me i'm like literally next in line like you take your little butthole shove it over to the next line you wait for two other people behind you go poop yourself you rude hoe anyway so i was mad about it and then when i'm checking out the pad thing for the card reader was facing another direction so i didn't want to be rude and like move it to my direction i don't know i thought that's it was just standard like there like i didn't know you move it sorry usually when i go to the grocery store um they have it just facing you so i thought okay it's not facing me it's fine whatever and it was just facing diagonally so i just put it in like a normal human being puts a card in a card reader and she goes the person at the cash register goes, oh, you know, those things face towards you. And then she, like, pushed it towards me. And she acted like I didn't know how to use a card reader. I know how to use a card reader, okay? I just didn't want to move it because I didn't know that it was going to move. Um, I thought it was planted there. I thought I'd never... You know, YouTubers make the dollar store seem so fun. They make it sound so fun, and they make people seem so nice, but in reality, they're all old, cranky, mean people, and I'm traumatized. Somebody just beeped. Probably not at me, though. This is good, though. Mmm.
Okay, you guys, I'm done. So, that was good dancing. That was really good. Okay, you guys, anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed me struggling today at the 99 cent store and the dollar store and ranting about stuff in cars. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a like because I need some love after this really disheartening experience. Also, don't forget to subscribe because you know what? If, I subs if you guys subscribe, maybe I'll put myself through this torture again for you guys. So please subscribe and let me know if you like these type of videos. I will keep doing them. Also, lastly, don't forget to hit that bell because if you hit that bell, you'll get notified when I post and it's so awesome. Yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Okay? Thank you guys so much again for watching. Keep mine!